Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. That's how come they point fingers to Patrote Front thinking that we were shooting you know our official uh, officials and cadres when they committed wrongs jj banda who the president is after is an example an example of the integrity of president edgar chaguanumu when jj banda who comes from petauke youth chairman of eastern province committed an offense in Vubui, the president said to all of us i will not tolerate that kind of behavior later on texas course JJ was convicted and fined. When JJ and his friends went and misconducted themselves at the police, he was never shooted by the president or anybody else. Kampion was being accused that possibly is working against some of the people because he also used to be youth chairman. He could have protected JJ, but Kampiongo, under the instruction of the president and his own conviction, said, I'm not going to shoot anybody. Kapeso is on record hunting for JJ as a criminal and arrested him, took him to, poly, to, to, to court. He was found wanting and fined 150. They fined 150,000 kwacha. The friend who beat up the, the, the police officer was convicted to one year imprisonment and he served. But Mr. Akainde Itinema, his guilt of shooting his own cadres, he thinks that Edgar Chagarungo was shooting cadres. It never happened. We have that case coming back of uh, Honorable Emmanuel J. Banda from the information that uh, we are receiving. Which information? That's you are just being told by Mr. Akainde Itinema. And that is wrong. Mr. Akainde Itinema is the president. He can't be the police, the prosecutor, and the judge. What makes him have the impetus and interest to start saying that uh, case must be reopened? I want to challenge Mr. Akainde Itinema today. Mwari your provincial chairman in Lusaka province, you know, jumped on a table in, you know, in Livingstone, taking over the role of the police and beat up Garin Combo. Both of them are there, the victim and the villain. You reopen that case. Let's see if you are a man of your word and you mean what you mean. Why is it that you are targeting PF? Let's start with Mwari Garin Combo and even HH were even locked up at the report and the instigation of Marited, where they were almost charged with murder. But the person who almost broke the hand of Garin Combo is there, Marited. Which year was that? Uh -huh. Do your job, you are a, you are a journalist. I will do my job. I may have these facts, but I'm not here to speak on your behalf. So no, no, no. Zambian people. I have so reminded which year them. Was that? I, Garin Combo, but was Wagum as a Bogam and Bejan Joven. Timaga Mogri Marited and your grieving stone. I'm a Abu Hemaganai. Monitor never went through the due process like JJ Ban. So to, I'm challenging Misaka in the HRM to start with Monitor in Livingston. He beat up your Minister of Local Government. So if at all it's about justice and fairness, let's reopen every case. Let's reopen every case. What does this entail where? We, uh, we seem to be moving in reverse. You know, some of these matters we cited that were already adjudicated upon, they were already dealt with, but again, uh, the president comes in and says uh, some of these cases, we have to revisit them. What does it mean? They are trying to cover the mouth of JJ. Mm. They are hoping, look at how, when he was found, <laughs> how can a person taken to the hospital even if it's a private hospital, his own choice. You take over 70 police officers to go and airlift him from the hospital bed. If you wanted him to be transferred, you could have just done a decent thing. Go and tell him, we have these considerations and we think you can go to Minasok. Abduct the, an ab, a person who has just survived an abduction, you abduct him again by the state, headed and supervised by the Minister of Home Affairs. 
basampuga e jinchi mwajita basamu asampuga bajaku mwimbu mwasampuga eh aga inde jinema mwasampuga two hours press briefing trying to justify himself by threatening citizens Nanda kubweza ma soldier inonda nda kuti kai vaka pokara vaaridwa No it's not a police who have failed you have failed you are giving mixed signals to the police you are giving them politically charged instructions and they can't function properly if you want the police to function properly allow them to be professional when arrest you, every offender when you look at the affairs um, of the Zambia police right now or home affairs where is the problem coming in because remember that we had uh, for example IG Kajoba was the first you know appointed IG later on Honorable Kajoba was fired then comes in Honorable Graham Samba as the IG but still citizens there seems to be that discontent among some citizens you know the mistake that Mr Kanje uh, 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 is making is that he's using everything as a reward you know process There are certain institutions that you don't have to appoint people as a way of rewarding them for what they did in politics. The police is one of them. You have to have people rise to higher ranks on merit and applaud them and honor them for being professional. Kajowa was a UPND cadre. He tried to be professional because he was too not too long having left the service. But after him they went and brought now a grandfather who's an ancient from ancient of days. He has even forgotten the code of conduct and everything and he was just a pure farmer and politician. Now we, he can even go to the media proudly and tell us we will not allow the opposition to have any rally because the UPN they are ready to attack. No very nonsensical statement. And we are here celebrating and the president comes instead of dealing with that situation says now i'm going to go to the army he wants now to finish the army the way he has finished the police and i want to encourage everybody running these institutions remain professional look at how they have attempted to deal with the, you know um, looking at the affidavit you have somebody charged with the responsibility of being dg But your aides are going to ask whether that DG is meeting the opposition or the former president. What kind of nonsense is that? Why can't Mr. President Edgar I mean HH uh, go and consult others? The role of that institution. That institution is supposed to interact with every Zambian for the benefit of the president. I know that there is no interaction between that uh, DJ they are trying to maliciously accuse with anybody not even the former president but in principle those who have occupied that office they allow that institution to operate freely so that every detail of what's happening in the country the president is aware and it will require that they are able to interact with everybody including the enemies of the president but because of lack of understanding of how government operates They are suspicious of everyone this president is so you know insecure that he's suspicious of everybody he's suspicious of his vice president he's suspicious of his aides even the, that's how come they are desperate now getting involved in abduction things because they want to be relevant he's suspicious of everyone and you can't have a president who is insecure the way this one is he's dangerous a president must be relaxed settled look as at his citizens as his brothers and sisters look at everybody as stakeholders even those who are highly critical you must have your ear opened listen to them interact with them where you can you may just benefit the office of presidency is the op op epitome the symbol of our sovereignty those who occupy it must be mature enough like manasa said he had developed a thick skin to absorb all manner of criticism even those who are so critical that when they are talking about you you are shifting in your chair but you must rise up and be able to say ah and that but this is a complex you have to take it to the village 
not in state house. It, it needs to be at the village as headman or something like that. Not in state house. 2026 is coming. And the Zambian people, you have compared. You have seen what the, the Mr. Fixer has done. He has fixed you. You may not like my vibrance. You may not like my robust way of engagement, but I mean well. This is who I am. I'm passionate about what I believe in. I say it with passion. And I'll say it as straightforward and as it is. I go to sleep peacefully because I have no hidden agenda or malice. But I'll say the truth to anybody. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.